In this demo, we're gonna imagine that we're a major electronics retailer. We have online sales, offline sales, ratings, reviews, and lots of other data. We wanna bring some of the data together to get a good sense on how customers think about our products and how that affects sales. Now, there's gonna be four major themes in this demo. The first is enabling the cloud. The second is leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning. The third is end-to-end -end automation. And the fourth is true democratization of analytics. So let's jump in. I've logged into the Altrix Analytics Cloud as part of our theme of enabling the cloud. And I'm greeted with a great homepage that shows me everything I've been working on and the activity that I'm generating within the Altrix Analytics platform. Now I can jump into the library to go to any of the assets that have already been creating, but I need data. So we're gonna quickly go to connections. Think of this as a central hub of connectivity for all of the products built on the Altrix Analytics Cloud. Now, I've already created a couple of connections here. Snowflake, because that's where my sales data is. S3 bucket, because that's where my ratings and review data is. And I even created a My Postgres just to show you that there's lots of variety. I could upload CSV files if I needed to. And if I needed to go after more data, I could quickly jump into our catalog of data sources and find the one that I need to leverage immediately out of the box. In this case, we're gonna start with Snowflake and we're going to get the perfect data set together by using Designer Cloud. To do that, I'm gonna click on this icon next to my Snowflake connection and it will show me all of the products built on the analytics platform that I can leverage this data set with. And we're gonna go into Designer Cloud. Designer Cloud is a place where I can create sophisticated workflows to bring my data together, prepare it, join it, and create that perfect data set. If you've used Designer on the desktop in the past, you're gonna see that this is very familiar. All of our tools are on the left-hand side. We have our canvas on the right-hand side. Now, because I started with a data connection, it already knows I'm gonna need a data connection and it's already set a data input for me. And I'm gonna click the sales online table from Snowflake. Now there's over two gigabytes of source data in Snowflake for these online sales. And so it's taking an initial 10 megabytes as sample data so that I can leverage it in the cloud really easily in my browser. But after I build my workflow, I can have the entire data set be part of that workflow process. Let me jump into a workflow that I've already created. In this workflow, I've grabbed multiple tables from different Snowflake instances and my ratings and review from an S3 bucket. I've joined them together, I've made some selections, I've actually even added some formulas, and I'm gonna be pushing the data back into Snowflake in a data set that I'm now calling Sales and Review Summary. At any point, I can also pop up what we call our interactive results grid. This is showing me in real time the changes that I'm making to that sample data so that I can see its health through a profile view at the top and make sure that the data is looking like I'm gonna expect it to. I'm gonna run this workflow and be right back. The workflow has run through multiple gigabytes of data and it's completed this entire workflow of modifying this data. It took about a minute to do and it's back in Snowflake exactly the way that I want it. Now that I have the data exactly the way that I want it, there's multiple things I could do. I can go into our new cloud powered reporting experience and quickly create some formatted tables and graphs for a presentation. I could go into our new cloud-powered location intelligence experience. Location intelligence can recognize that location data and quickly map the revenue for each of our store locations on any series of rich and interactive maps to give me a new view. I could also lay over other types of data like demographic data. But in this demo, we're gonna move on to the next theme, which is leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning. And to do that, we're gonna go into Auto Insights. Auto Insights is a groundbreaking new product that's gonna take the data set that we just created, you can see here, sales and review summary, and it's gonna use artificial intelligence to analyze the data and quickly show me powerful insights to know exactly what that data means. To do this, I'm gonna click on the KPI overview. Alteryx Auto Insights is using cutting edge artificial intelligence to actually analyze that data that I just created and show me what needs my attention by creating visualizations and human readable text explaining to me what this data means. As I scroll down, I can even see different segments and how they're performing and correlations on how the ratings and reviews affect the sales of my specific products. 
This would normally take hours or weeks to get this type of analysis, and we're doing it in seconds and minutes using artificial intelligence. I can even drill down to that data to ask additional questions, and the AI will keep up with me and make sure I'm getting the information that I need based on that data set. I can also share this with anyone in my organization. It's incredibly powerful. So now I have a better sense of what's happening in my organization than ever before. I don't wanna just know what's happened, I wanna know what's going to happen and what I can do to change it. And to do that, I can go into Altrix Machine Learning. Machine learning allows anybody to start using machine learning models to better understand what's going to happen in the future in their data and what they can do to change it. In Altrix Machine Learning, we're using that same data set that we just created in Designer Cloud, and we're greeted with a preview of that data and profiling just to make sure that we're looking at the data that we'd expect. Because we're using time series data of sales, we can do this predictive time series analysis. It'll predict the future values based on past values. We can see the decomposition of our current data, take out trends and seasonality of the data to better understand the core data, and then add that back in to improve our prediction process. Then we're presented with a leaderboard of all of the machine learning models ranked against each other that we can choose from. We can see here that the decision tree regressor is highly suggested, so we're gonna leverage that for our prediction. And just like that, we have our forecast graph that'll show our current values next to our predicted values over time. Both Altrix Machine Learning and Auto Insights are currently available for sale and can work with any data set, including those that you build in our current desktop versions of our products. Now, so far we've enabled the cloud by using Designer Cloud and all of the cloud connectors, and we've leveraged artificial intelligence and machine learning. It's time for us to do end-to-end -end automation. Now, because I've created this data model, I can click here to decide which products I want to start using this data model in, and we're going to come down here to plans. Altrix Plans is a platform level orchestration layer that allows you to create automation across all of our products, as well as many others. Using this, you can daisy chain multiple workflows together from Designer Cloud, or in this case, create automation across multiple products. Now, the sales prediction model that I just created in machine learning needs data from the Designer Cloud workflow that we created earlier. And so using this interface, I can connect these two applications. When this Designer Cloud workflow is completed and successful, it'll push data to the sales prediction data model in Altrix Machine Learning. And I can do this across everything. Let me show you a plan that I built that brings automation to everything we've been doing in this demo. So here we are. It starts with that Designer Cloud workflow that I created. If it fails for some reason, I want a Slack message because that's my application for communication in my organization. If it succeeds, I want it to go to the sales prediction model that I just created in machine learning and send me a Slack message that lets me know that it happened. I also want it going to the sales insights dashboard that we created in auto insights. And I also want a Slack message again, just to make sure. We could also send this to our new cloud reporting experience or our location intelligence experience so that all of these applications are using the most recent data and I can schedule the entire thing to run as often as I need to. This is end-to-end -end automation. A designer cloud workflow, grabbing data from multiple sources, preparing the data to be the perfect data set, and feeding it into our location analytics, into our reports, as well as into advanced artificial intelligence that's going to analyze that data and powerful machine learning data models that are going to help us predict what to do next. It's absolutely amazing, and we were able to do all of this in just a few minutes. But we're not done quite yet. We talked about one other theme, which is analytics democratization. And to do that fully, we're going to jump into one other app. In fact, we're going to jump into an app builder. App Builder allows you to build low-code, no-code applications on our platform. So if you remember that designer cloud workflow that we created at the beginning that got all the data together, I want to be able to share that information with anyone in my organization, but I don't want it to be a spreadsheet or a table. I'm going to create an application that actually makes it interactive. This is an application that I've already been building. Now you can see in this interface, we have our tools on the left-hand side, Canvas on the right. This should seem pretty familiar to everybody. But in this case, I want someone to be able to type in a SKU 
and get the relevant information for that SKU very easily in this application. So I dragged over a specific interaction that's going to tell the designer cloud workflow to stop and wait for that interaction from the user before it continues the rest of the process. I can then design my application very easily using a drag and drop interface. I simply brought my drop down over here, the table results. I can actually format this with a bunch of different images, et cetera. And when I go in and click publish, I have an easy to use web application powered by the Alteryx Analytics Cloud platform. And the back end is using Designer Cloud, and the front end is using App Builder. And so when I put in a SKU, I can get that information that's technically being pulled from Snowflake and that S3 bucket being merged together, joined together in Designer Cloud and waiting for an input from the user to decide what information to share. In the last few minutes, we have enabled the cloud by bringing the power of designer to designer cloud. We've leveraged the power of artificial intelligence by having AI analyze that data and machine learning models to predict the future of that data. We've created end-to-end -end automation across this entire ecosystem of products. And we've done true data democratization by building our own application on top of it to share with anyone in our organization.